Stand by for shot. Stand by for shot. 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 That is a Barrett rifle, a 50 caliber high powered weapon normally used by the military as you're seeing there. Tonight, a Tulsa man is facing federal gun charges accused of buying these types of weapons and allegedly sending them back to the cartel. Glad you're with us. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rossi. This is a case investigators say spans multiple states and involves the Sinaloa cartel in Mexico, which is considered one of the most dangerous cartels in the world. In a story you'll see only on Fox 23, Fox 23's John Acebus joins us live. John, documents show the gun trafficking ring was centered right here in Tulsa. It was, that's what this federal affidavit tells me. Tens of thousands of dollars spent on these high powered rifles, including the attempted purchases right here in Tulsa. This is a very dangerous cartel and ATF agents believe that these men in this affidavit are not the only ones trying to buy for the cartel here in Tulsa. A dangerous cartel, the Sinaloa cartel, once led by El Chapo, is accused of trying to buy guns right here in Tulsa, according to a federal affidavit. Guns like this one, a high-powered Barrett 50 caliber rifle. We've intercepted uh, some of the most powerful members of the Sinaloa cartel operating in Oklahoma. That's Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics spokesperson Mark Woodward, who says these guys are dangerous. They're very violent. Uh, these individuals are known for being able to move their products because of fear and threat uh, to uh, people who get in their way. According to federal court documents, three people in the Tulsa area were after the high-powered Barrett rifle. So I want to show you the difference in the bullet sizes and some of the bullets that are coming out of these guns. This is your basic 223 round that'll be shot out of AR-15s like you see on this wall. This is a 50 caliber bullet. Note the difference in size. Now when I take this 50 caliber bullet and I put it up to my iPhone 13, it's nearly the same size. Cesar David Lopez, Juan Antonio Duran, Jose Nicolas Flores are accused of paying tens of thousands of dollars in cash to get the guns. The document says one store owner says it was clear that Durant was unfamiliar with the firearm as he did not know it came in either bolt action or semi. The document also says they did what's called straw purchasing. Charles Peters with the Bear Beams Firearms in Tulsa says that's essentially buying a gun for someone else. The person that's filling out the paperwork has to be the one that's paying for it. The document also says in one purchase, Lopez and Flores each got a free shirt due to them spending over $2,000. And one of them was seen wearing that shirt while trying to buy from another store in Alabama. Agents served a warrant at a Tulsa home where they found Lopez and took him into custody. According to court documents, Lopez told agents that he works as a painter and that he believed the firearms were going to Mexico and likely to a cartel. Some of them are low-level people who are willing to move drugs for them because they're trying to feed their own addiction. Others are simply doing it for profit. Court documents show that Lopez had a Facebook page showing pictures affiliated with the Sinaloa cartel, showing pictures of cartel members carrying guns and wearing vests. I'm told by an attorney at the U.S. Attorney's Office that the men have been taken into custody and an indictment is likely to come down in the next few days. And John, you looked into that gun itself. How dangerous can it be when in the wrong hands? very dangerous. It's definitely not your basic rifle. Even for armored vehicles, a bullet can go right through that. So even your basic car, it'll put a hole clean through that. So very dangerous in the wrong hands. Now, I tried to get my hands on one or at least see one in person. I know they are sold in Tulsa, but they're very expensive. It's a high-end rifle, so likely for many places they only do specialty orders if you want that gun. But coming up tonight, I spoke with that gun owner who says they have precautions in place to protect themselves from those illegal straw purchases. I'm working on that part of my story for Fox 23 News at 10. Covering news that matters, John Asibis, Fox 23 News.